will tell you one this Asian gay uh, playing Grand F Auto Sandra is Dive Mission. So they get off a play mission made by uh, Seagull. And the title mission is Collecting the Taxes, which is the third mission of his uh, Back to the 80s series. So, yeah. One, two. So, we're gonna play this mission right now. Hey guys, what's up? Psst, be quiet. Jake is kinda nervous right now. You fucking horse piece of shit, I will come in VC just to kill you. Anyways, we got some things to set up. We're gonna collect some taxes. Come on, let's go. We're gonna need some more hands. What do you suggest? Is that guy Jerry, arms dealer, alive? Yeah, he's living at the gym. He will help us for sure. Go to the gym. Alright, cool. Out of my way. I thought it was, uh, you know, going through. Not, not, I mean, not through them, but there was a, a gap which I can go through, you know, without killing them. But it didn't work the way I wanted to. So, sucks. You go up there. I will wait. Sure thing, asshole. Hey, Jerry. Jerry, are you there? Oh, what the fuck? Nick, look, no time to talk. Can you help Larry and t me to collect some taxes? Man, I'm always down. Come on, next roll. Why are you always down? Because you look like a thug? Okay, Larry, who's in the list? Daryl Lee, Pound Shop, and the Pilgrim. Shit, I cannot believe this. Nick is back in the LV. After staying low in the Vice City, I decided to hang around. Oh, you should sometimes come around. I might have some stuff to do with for you. Go to the pawn shop. Oh yeah, I think I mentioned something about the dollar store, but which is like uh, you, you get items, uh, you know, for uh, like uh, ex less expensive in terms of price. Well, yeah, I guess uh, pawn shop is pretty much like similar. But most of the time, pawn shops like uh, they sell like uh, you know, eel stuff. Unlike uh, you know the dollar stores, well, especially like in my hometown, uh, they just, they sell products like uh, like expensive, probably because uh, you know it's imported in countries where there's like less labor. So that's why. I mean, more labor, my bad. Knock knock, tax collector. Beat up the staff. They're gonna beat him. Can you fight? Everyone was wearing casually, man. Oh, uh oh, oh, oh. It's the, the other one. Like there's a massive brawl going on here. Okay, who's who's the last target? Oh. Okay, the the citizen is like attacking me because probably because uh, you know I was disturbing him. Yeah, it wasn't that easy because everyone's wearing casually, man. Oh, this guy, okay. Pick up the money! Where's the money? That's the money? Only uh, like a pack of bill? Leave the shop. Wow, that was so small. Whatever. Okay, we got the cash. We should split up before someone's called the cops. Sure thing, I'll see you in the vice. Tring. Can I get inside while I'm driving? Driving and calling. Hello! Come to the central LV park. Who's this? It doesn't matter. It matters that you come. Why? Is life being threatened? 
Anyways, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Stay tuned, I'm going to play our mission, our mission very soon. Alright, uh, thanks to play our mission made by uh, Cycle. And the title of the mission is Inside Problems. One, two, three. So, yeah, without wasting further time, I like this mission. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is the fourth mission of his uh, Back to the 80s series. To the 80s series. Damn, where's that guy? I hope this is, is that guy. Hey, you! Are you Snick Smith? Yeah, and who the hell are you? Ralph Penelbury, SAAC. I have a business offer. What a cop dick want for me. First of all, we're not cops. And have some respect, Mr. Smith. Crash unit, the most corrupt unit in LSPD. I guess he's always doing starting things like witness kidnapping and similar. You have a nice little dozy, so we think you can do dirty work. Okay, what do you want from me now? First of all, go to the Prickle Pine 27. That's Crash. Try to steal documents marked by LVPD witness protection. You have my number. Call me when you're done. I don't know why Raph looks like uh, zero. Go to the safe house. Or because the other didn't have uh, a model that is very specific to him. And yeah, by the way, the name of the other uh, Sego. For some reason, it sounds like Sega. You know, like, uh, I think it was like during the 90s or 80s, I don't remember. It's too young for that, or probably not even born. Uh, yeah, there was a commercial about, like, uh, you know, Sega. And, you know, Whenever they, they finish a the commercial, they said like uh, the name of the company, like uh, Sega, very loud, like Sega. Well, uh, yeah. And that's why Seagull sounds very familiar with, to me because of the, the Sega, like, uh, you know, sound. And today, like, uh, you know, well, in my hometown, anyways. Uh, they do like a, a lot of uh, the mini version of the old consoles. Like uh, we have like uh, the mini like uh, NES, mini Super Nintendo, mini PlayStation, mini Sega Genesis. Enter the safe house, and I think uh, the commercial for the mini Genesis is saying like the words Sega very loud and all that. Search uh, the house for the documents. Searching. Nothing. Search, search the house for documents. Yeah, it's search. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about more stuff about the, the retro games later on. Let's see. Nothing again, search for the safe house for documents. Alright, cool. Oh, I think it's nearby. Yeah, I found the documents, but somebody's in the house. Beat him up. Oh, yeah? I gotta do a clothesline. Oh, how you doing? Leave the house. Shit, cops are after you. Well, of course, I mean, 3 star 1 level, I'll just kick out uh, an officer earlier. Grab some car and go to the pay and spray. Yeah, I was talking about retro games. Uh, it's surprising, I mean, right now in 2019, uh, there's still a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, you know, they still like sell a lot of retro games, man retro game uh, stuff like I said earlier like the, the mini consoles like Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis, PlayStation uh, yeah they, they sell those things and people are still buying that them and you also like uh, if you uh, you play still play like uh, console games like uh, Nintendo Switch uh, there's a good amount of uh, retro game as well on that console and yeah people are still buying them you know, despite being made in the 1980s, 90s, whatever, they're still buying them. 
And not only that, I'm still I'm still seeing like uh, replicas of uh, all arcades and machines and all that made in the 90s, 80s, whatever. Uh, they sell that, and people are interested to buy them. You know, this is the paint spray. Here you can fix and respray your car. If you have a wonder level, come here and get rid of it. Dining number. And. Hey, Raph, I got the documents. Nice job, Mr. Smith. Here's what you're gonna do now. Little zip pizza at the LVPD HQ, drop the documents. Also, there's your cash. You will stay in touch. Oh, shit. Drop the documents at the, in the dumpster. And yeah, and there's also like, uh, you know, mobile games. Some of them, like, uh, you know, the graphics are pretty basic. Uh, it's still popular with uh, you know casuals and gamers and all that. I mean, uh, I think there's a game. Uh, I don't. I don't remember the game. It was a. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's Flapping Bird. I mean, Flapping Bird looks like a Super Nintendo game and graphical wise, and it was extremely popular for some reason. And uh, for those who didn't know about Flappy Bird, it was like a bird where you have to pass through the pipes and all that. Like through the gap uh, from the pipes, while uh, he has to, you know, fly. Anyways, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching. See you next time, guys.